Today we are traveling to a small Ukrainian town that shares its name with the hottest fashion trend this year. With beautiful cliffs, amazing views of the Baltic Sea and the historical architecture, the name of this town is Balaklava. Historically, the balaclava is more often associated with the war tactics rather than runway trends, but this year we've seen balaclavas of all shapes and sizes, knitted, woven, crochet, and whatever that is. And it was so popular that even the celebrities are wearing them. Here's Queen Beyonce wearing a balaclava, and as usual, she's slaying it. And I know I'm a bit late to the balaclava party, but uh, to be honest, I filmed this a while ago in the middle of winter, and just now I got the time to finish and edit the videos. Hi, my name is Momo, and I do DIYs, upcycles, and sewing projects, and in today's episode, we're gonna make a fleece balaclava, and I'm also going to show you a simple three-dimensional textile floral sculpture technique that's not time consuming and it looks stunning. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and let's get right into it. So I'm going to start by adapting the pattern from the hood of a ski jacket. I'm going to lay out the ski jacket and trace the hood pieces onto a piece of muslin. The hood of this jacket has three sections. It has two side panels that are contoured to the shape of the head and there's a rectangle pattern um, that connects the two pieces in the middle and gives it a three-dimensional shape around your head. I'm going to trace these patterns out and I'm going to cut them out of muslin. I'm choosing muslin because I need to make adjustments to the size of the pattern and it's quite easy to adjust it on the muslin. construct the shape of the balaclava. I'm going to try it on and see if it fits me well. I think it does. The only adjustment I made to this pattern was making the side panels more roundish. The ski jacket has more of a flatter top over the head um, and I made it a bit rounder for a better fit. For the materials, you are going to need half a yard of polar fleece and some regular fleece material for the 3D flowers. You are also going to need eyelets, some ribbon for the flowers accents, you will need some pink yarn and some orange glass beads. To get started with the cutting, I'm going to lay the pieces of the pattern onto the border fleece material and cut out two side pieces and one middle panel. I'm going to pin the center panel to the side panel and join the two pieces together using my serger. So I did a test on my sewing machine as well, but the serger works out better sewing the polar fleece because of the pile. If you don't have a serger, you can just use your regular sewing machine. It really makes no difference. It is just a little easier with the serger. It's going to work out just fine, don't worry about it, it's a very small project. Once both of the panels are attached, I'm going to serge the bottom edge of the balaclava to give it a neat finish. Um, I want the front part of the balaclava to be adjustable around my face. So I'm going to make two holes over here and install metal eyelets in them through which the ribbon will pass. Make sure that the holes are facing towards the outside of the balaclava because we're going to fold the edge inwards and make a channel that will house the ribbon. The fleece fabric is very soft and the eyelets are not going to stay if I just put them in without a stay piece. So for this I'm using a small piece of fusible backing which I'm going to iron onto the back of the hole. 
and then I'm going to punch the hole through it and install the eyelet. I bought an eyelet kit and I'm using the tool to install the eyelets. Next, I'm going to pin and close the front piece of the balaclava over here and I'm going to sew the channel and while doing this, I will make sure that I have enough space to pass the ribbon through because I want the front to be adjustable. With that, the balaclava is complete. Next, we are going to move on to the 3D floral decorations. I started out by drawing a rough shape of a flower with four petals and I cut it out on a piece of muslin. Then I used this as a template and I cut out the flower shape out of the black fleece material. You can make this essentially in any color. Uh, the fleece material does not require any uh, special care because the edges are not going to fray so it's a perfect choice for a material. I'm going to place the flower shapes in different places around the head, how it looks good um, until I'm happy with the placement. Then I'm going to use uh, the pink yarn and a thick tapestry needle to sew the flowers to the balaclava. I'm making large loops of the yarn and tying a knot to the back to make them permanent. To add some more detail, I'm going to use orange seed beads. These I already had and I'm going to hold the petals down with the tip of my thumb and finger and sew on four beads at a time and pull the thread really tight. This would warp the petals enough in the middle um, just to give it some 3D shape. The sides of the petals are going to curl up when you sew a couple rows of beads in there. Next to make the center of elements of the flower, I'm going to hold the yarn loops in one hand and I'm going to cut them about one and a half inches. The flower looks really pretty now and the balaclava is now complete. I'm going to complete all the flowers and um, the balaclava turned out really nice. It's very nice and warm. The fleece material was perfect and I think it's a very simple project to sew on your own without a pattern. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you in the next one. Here's the video. It's snowing. It's so beautiful outside. And so
cold, so cold. Out here testing out my balaclava and it's super, super warm and I love it. If you like this video, I have a feeling that you're going to like this one next. Please do check it out.